What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and today I'm back with the Darkling Tag video. I'm reading through the questions and they sound oddly familiar. Um, I know like I've obviously watched other people do it but I feel like I've answered these before. Um, so if I have, it would be when I first started YouTube like two years ago. So this would be an updated version. If I haven't then I filmed it and never uploaded it. I don't know, but hopefully this is new on the channel because this looks fun, so I'm gonna do it. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get right into it because there's loads of questions and I don't want it to take a million trillion years, so I'm gonna be looking down because I'm gonna be reading off my phone, so yeah. So number one, what is your favourite candle scent? I thought long and hard about this because I always, if I'm buying a candle I just buy vanilla, how boring is that? Um, but my favourites of the ones I currently have with me are either from Yankee Candle, Red Apple Wreath. It just smells so like autumn-y and like warm and like family. I think it's supposed to, it's like from the Christmas range but it just smells like like autumn to me and I love that. Basically anything that smells autumn-y. So the other two that I have here are Pumpkin Crunch Cake. These are from Black Candles Online. My boyfriend got me these for Christmas. Pumpkin Crunch Cake. Obviously smells like pumpkin. So good. And then the other one is Tricks or Treats. And that smells again like apple-y and autumn-y. So just anything that smells like autumn is my favourite. Obviously because Halloween and also my birthday, so love it. <laughs> uh, question number two, do you have a favourite book? I have two books that I'll read again and again and again. The first would be Hetty Feather by Jacqueline Wilson. Yes, I'm well aware it's aimed at children. It is a children's book, but I love it. Um, so it's about a girl who's like a, a foundling child in Victorian London and so good there's like a whole series now and I've read them all like a million times so yeah Hetty Feather or Model Land by Tyra Banks oddly the most inspirational book I've ever read in my life um yeah it's pretty good I'm sure the majority of people watching me probably don't either don't know who Tyra Banks is or don't care but I love her <laughs> um number three are you a tea or coffee person coffee 100% I hate tea I'm like the worst British person ever I hate tea um, but I love coffee, specifically vanilla lattes. Oh, so good. Um, what is your favourite brand and colour of lipstick? Uh, my favourite brand would be Kat Von D, the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. Favourite colour is probably black, is what I wear, is what I wear the most. But I also love the shade Exorcism, um, which is like a, a vampy red. I also love orange lips. Yeah, but black would be my favourite. Uh, number five, what's your favourite perfume or cologne? I like really sweet, fruity, <laughs> summery perfume scents, which doesn't make any sense. Um, so the one I wear the most is Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. It smells so... I used to wear it when I went on holiday to Turkey, so whenever I smell it, it just smells like the sun and like being away and being with my family and having a good time, so that's my favourite. I also have um, these little, oh I'm a bit close, perfume oils that they sell at my local witch store and I have vanilla, sandalwood, passion potion and night queen and night queen is probably my favourite. Um, it smells like, I don't know, kind of like musty, musky. I really can't explain it, but it's good. <laughs> I'm just going to show you it instead of describing it because I'm awful with describing scents. Yeah. Um, do you have a celebrity crush? <laughs> Probably too many. <laughs> uh, Vic Fuente, Marilyn Manson, Matthew Gray Goobler, Shamar Moore. Um, I'm just looking around my room at who I've got pictures up of because that's a generally good indicator. Um, anyone else? Oh, 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 the guy who plays Hannibal in the TV series. I can't remember his name, but him. <gasps> yes. <laughs> um, 
that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Just just one. That's it. <laughs> um, if you had to give up the colour black, what colour would you choose instead? Uh, depends on my mood, because if I was feeling like gothy and dark, like majority of the time, probably like red, bit, like a bright red latex, or like dark red velvet, or fluffy baby pink. <laughs> What are your top three tips for surviving hot weather while black clad? Um, I don't really go outside that much and if I do, like I wear black but I tend to wear like crop tops or bralettes or like lacy things so anything like this that you can like get air through easily so black lace. Um, keep a parasol, always take your parasol with you. Factor 50 is a must for your face, especially protect your skin. Um, big hats, sunglasses. I've given way more than three, so you're welcome. <laughs> um, what song will always make you happy? It doesn't have to be a goth band. Um, ACDC's Long Way to the Top, if you want to rock and roll. Whenever I feel like really, really good, I put that song on and I'm like, yes! It's just like the ultimate pick-me-up, feel-good. I love it. It's a good song. Are you active in the arts? For example, play an instrument, paint, write, etc. Um, the only writing I do is keeping a diary, so I don't know if that counts. Like, I wouldn't ever show anyone. So that's like just for me. I don't paint. I do photography, gothic photography. Love. When I'm brave enough, I will put a link to where you can find my photography but for now I'm like don't look at it I'm too shy um makeup I guess would count as art um yeah uh number 12 if you had a teacup or mug made inscribed just for you what would you have it say probably cry baby <laughs> uh what is your number one non-goth hobby Oh my god, um, my only hobbies that I really do are makeup, but the makeup I do is goth, uh, YouTube, but my channel's goth, um, photography, but that's goth, shopping, but does that count? I'm sure goths enjoy shopping, um, probably the only other thing I do that's not goth is watch Pretty Little Liars, so we'll put that there, watching Pretty Little Liars, I'm watching it for the fourth time. I don't care. I love it. Um, if you could be a supernatural creature, what would it be and why? Straight up vampire. 100%. I would love to be a vampire. They are so cool. Just everything about them. Super cool. What horror monster based superpower would you have? To kill people in their dreams would be kind of cool. Or just to like haunt people like a ghost, that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, something like that. Kill people in their dreams or haunt them, spook them. Um, do you feel confident or comfortable interacting with other goths or gothy people online or in real life? Why or why not? In real life, I don't feel comfortable com what, interacting with anybody. I'm really, really shy. So if I saw like another goth, I wouldn't approach them. I'd probably just smile and put my head down. Um, but that I'm the same with anyone, like I'm too shy to speak to anyone in public. Um, online, again, I'm really shy, like I won't start a conversation because I just feel like I'm A, irritating the person, or B, they're like way too cool and they'll be like, yeah, go away, and I'm like... <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm comfortable if someone communicates with me first, but I'm just too shy to start a conversation. Um, so there you go, if you want to talk, feel free, because I am happy to talk, I'm just too shy to start a conversation. Um, which is more important for a look, great hair or great makeup? Definitely great makeup. My hair is so boring, it's just natural and I just leave it down because I like straight hair, but my hair is so thick and it's just effort to straighten, so I put like all of my effort into my makeup, but not my hair, so great makeup. Is there something you wish there was more of in your subculture? I wish there was less elitism and more openness and acceptance within the culture because I'll be walking along 
doing what I do, going about my life, and I'll see another gothy person, and I'll smile at them, and they'll be like, and I'm like, okay. My sister was like, I thought goths were supposed to stick together. I was like, me too. So, goths seem to dislike me. I don't know why. I feel like I'm quite a happy, smiley person. I'm like, you know, give them a little smile, and they're just like, So yeah, more openness. Um, care to share an embarrassing story related to your darkness? Not super embarrassing, but I was at work the other day serving a customer, um, like on the tills, and we're just having a general conversation and we have these flyers for the Rocky Horror Show just to the side and she starts picking it up and talking about, oh this is really cool, oh I love that, you know, we're just talking about Rocky Horror Show. And um, I had red liquid liner on, so I had like white eyeshadow and red liquid liner. And um, she was like, oh, I really love your makeup. And my colleague next to me, Kelsey, goes, she's my goth. And just walks away. I was like... <laughs> so that was pretty embarrassing from my point, like... But yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, number 20, how are you at DIY? It depends what kind of DIY. I could just about scrape my way through painting something or ripping something. I'm not very good at sewing. I did textiles for seven years and I'm awful at sewing. Um, construction, terrible, absolutely terrible. I have no, my brain's all creative and fun and then I don't have the logic to carry things out so it doesn't go very well. Quickly describe your ideal wedding. Um, arrive in a hearse into some either a graveyard a funeral home or a big gothic castle i love the look of churches but i would absolutely never ever have like a, a christian wedding that's just not me at all so i'd love the look of a church but i wouldn't want like a religious wedding um wearing black looking fierce makeup on fleek hair on fleek pale as fuck <laughs> um, I want like a tight fitting dress that like flares out in like a mermaid style dress, black lace, um, I'm gonna have Lana Del Rey Young and Beautiful playing as I walk in, Bay will turn around and be like, damn, and I'll be like, no, I'll probably be in tears, like mascara running everywhere, the makeup artist like, stop, stop, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> um, just a good time, loads of friends, super spooky, and alcohol <laughs> that's my ideal wedding um so the next part is confessional so you say true or false to all the statements i love watching cheesy romance films false i can't stand anything cheesy comedy romance no 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 horror or psychological thriller and that's pretty much all i watch i'm so fussy with films i always remember to wash off my makeup at night false i'm generally pretty good especially the last year I've been really good with my skincare but there's still times where I'm like no <laughs> no 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 um I sleep with plushies true very very true I had the highest amount I had on my bed at one point was 50 but I've narrowed it down to just the best 25 <laughs> so yes a lot of plushies I wear non-black pajamas most nights um I don't like true all my pajamas are like cute and pink and fluffy and girly so I don't I don't do I own black pajamas I have like black sweatpants but I don't wear them to bed or I wear like Jake's massive black t-shirt so sometimes but more often like cute and pink and fluffy um I still listen to a boy band that has disbanded years ago false my like guilty pleasure music is Katy Perry's first album <laughs> not a boy band so yep I think Andrew Eldritch is over overrated. Not really. I don't think he's overrated because people don't ever talk about him. Not the people I know anyway. And in the goth community nowadays, he's not really mentioned at all. So I don't think he's overrated. Um, I don't like vampires. False. Love vampires. Super cool. I don't like clubs. True. Hate clubs. The only thing I will go to is Apocalypse which is every second Saturday of the month in Southampton and 
the music last time got shitter and shitter as the night went on, but it was video game themes and maybe that's why they were playing like music from video games that I don't know or like, so that was a bit shit. And then some of it's a bit like techno, which I'm not into at all. Um, but other than that, I just hate, it's just crowded. There's like guys being really cringe to try and get with girls or girls being cringe to get with guys. It's just, I just hate cringiness. I can't stand it. And then drunk men trying to come and like feel your hair or your body or like be right up in your space and no, I hate clubs. Um, I'm dating a goth or darkly inclined person. Not really, he's, he's definitely not goth. He, I wouldn't say he's like normal, but he's not goth, so I don't know. No, <laughs> false. I don't enjoy graveyards, false. I freaking love graveyards. They're just so peaceful and calming to be in. I have a video on my phone of like the graveyard um, that I grew up going to, the one near my mum's house. And I like have just this little video of me just like panning round, looking at all the gravestones, and it's just so calming. It's just quiet and nice and pretty. And so if I ever feel too stressed out or too overwhelmed, I just watch the little video and it's like, it's nice. Um, blood makes me queasy. Not really. The only thing that makes me feel super like is <laughs> um, anyone touching my ribs, anyone touching their own ribs, breaking ribs. And that's it really that's the only thing that makes me feel like super gross but blood is fine um uh, i'd sooner faint than pet spider no i love spiders i'm not really bothered by them i'll just pick them up take them outside they're not bothered they're not bothered they're probably not bothered either um i don't like haunted houses false i used to really really wish that my house was haunted and every time i move i'm like please be haunted but this next one that i'm moving into i think there's a very good chance that it's haunted so i'm pretty excited um, I still browse Hot Topics clearance racks, false, we don't have Hot Topic here, I've never read Dracula, I tried reading it when I was seven, we had this big bookcase in the hallway of all these random books, Dracula was there, my sister who's like almost ten years older than me is like, what are you doing, why are you reading that, I was like, oh I just want to try it, and she was like, it's too complicated for me, you won't understand it, and I was like, oh, so I stopped, maybe I should have read it. Um, last one, I think Bella Lugosi's Dead is a long and boring song. No. Long? Yes. Boring? No. My favourite game at the moment to play is come in from work, put Bella Lugosi's Dead on and see how much of the bedroom I can tidy up while the song plays and I'm just like moving around the room, loving my life, tidying up and it finishes and I've pretty much tidied the bedroom so there you go. Goth hacks for tidying the bedroom, put Bella Lugosi's Dead on and challenge yourself. <laughs> Um, I hope this video wasn't too long and boring, it was really fun for me to film, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me. Um, yeah, I tag any one of you who wants to do it to do these questions, and if you do do it on your channel, link it below, I'd love to watch it and find out more about you guys. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up likey thingy, just by habit now, every video I watch I'm like, 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 my like videos on YouTube are like... <sighs> too many um yeah so hit the like button if you enjoyed this video comment down below and i don't know just say something have a chat let's talk what did you think about this video yeah i don't know what these hand movements are but i'm gonna go with it um yeah and subscribe for more cute videos not that this was cute this was just talking but yeah, I've got some super exciting stuff coming up to do with moving house and everything like that. So subscribe for more spooky content and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.